Hello everyone, hello and welcome, welcome to the Reapers Podcast. Today is May 16th, which it, it is my birthday, my birthday, May 16th, yes, nothing, fine, be that way, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just joking, but it's May 16th, 5 o'clock p.m., And as you guys know, um, last week I let everybody take a break, and I think this week is a well-deserved another break, Um, because it's just a lot of stuff's been going on, and uh, of course I think Nico uh, slash Zach needs some some time. Um, I have not spoken to him for a while, just because I've been real busy uh, pumping out videos for you guys. And uh, trying to get stuff set up and ready. Um, and getting the settings ready for the uh, voiceover work that I have to do. It's it's very, very complicated the way I have to do stuff. Um, because I'm new with my mixer. And my mixer is just... Um, I don't know. It's like... It's hard to to do the knobs and the, the twisty attorneys and stuff like that, you know, um, so, that was weird, <laughs> but it's just, it's a very hard, uh, complicated process, um, with me in a way of just, just trying to get everything to, to work and so on. Um, the videos, I've been trying to juggle and figure out a combination, uh, between them, so, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's going hard, but I figured they'd, they need a deserved break, you know, because it's just, I don't know, uh, they need more time, so, possibly next week, uh, we'll have, have them back on. And we'll figure stuff out. So, yeah. It's going great. Going real great. (laughs) But, yeah. Anyway. So, guys. Let's get back. Let's get into the podcast. Right into it. Yeah. But, anyway. As you guys know, I've been playing in Mass Effect Andromeda. Finally finished the main mission. Um... Wow, I just have to say, it it reminds me of the old Mass Effect, uh, the way, like, the Reapers and the Geth and, and everything like that, um, and at the end you could tell there's either going to be another Mass Effect or there's going to be a DLC coming out, a continuation maybe, but... It, that may not, the DLCs may happen, but another Mass Effect may not. Uh, if you guys are not aware that Mass Effect kind of pulled one out from everybody and decided to disband uh, the Bioware that, that was making Andromeda and that those teams have been dispersed and there's a team that's that's still supporting Mass Effect with the bugs and everything else. But I guess the new IP that they were working on and any other Mass Effect franchise games are being put a hold. Um, wow. Just wow. It's... See, that's the power of us consumers. The, or, did I say that right? <laughs> well, it's the power of us players. It's the power. Okay? When developers give us power... Okay, they give us so much power that, in in a way, I don't know. They they just gives us power that we can halt any development on on this fucking planet. We can halt it. Uh, why why do I say that? Well, I mean the evidence is right there. We gave. Mass Effect, so much shit. So much shit. I mean, the, so much shit, it just, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, um, 
it's it was like you know of course it's like the Vegeta power level thing you know Vegeta what does the 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 power level of so much suckage and then you know, it's over an eye thousand you know it's it's like that you know I mean even before it was released it, you know we gave it shit um I didn't give a shit personally. I mean, and not to mention, it, it kind of made me feel like I didn't want to buy it. You know, because everybody was like, this game sucks and whatnot. It's so buggy, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, man, <laughs> um, I, I don't know what to say about that because, yeah, uh, <laughs> like, really, you know, um, I might not even buy it. But then I'm like, you know what? It's Mass Effect. I bought. I didn't buy the first one. I didn't buy the trilogy. Because that would be just like me rebuying the games on the PS3. I think they have it on the PS4. If they have it on the PS4, I'll fucking rebuy it probably. And replay the first one. But. I bought the second one and third one. Because we're so good. It was so awesome. The armor was awesome. The the voice. the The guy. Which is so awesome, uh, Shepard. So, when when Andromeda came around, you know, it was like I don't know. I bought it and I was so nervous. You know, I was so nervous of playing it. I didn't want to play it, to be honest. But I forced myself to play it. You know, uh, there's like one reason why I didn't want to play it is because of Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard's not going to be in this one. You know, so I was like, damn it, you know, why, you know, it's just, it's something that, you know, but as I played it, I learned to, there was so much character development in this one. I mean, your allies, your companions that you have, you know, were just so much character and especially your character you know you don't know shit about your character all you knew is you woke up in a crisis uh, yeah in those pods you woke up and then boom you know and then as as it goes along as you figure stuff out unlock stuff and the character them is so good in it you know um there's a lot of boobies <laughs> a lot of boobies um well, not a lot of boobies, but, I mean, there's, wow. Wow. You know, beside that part. <laughs> but it's it's unbelievable. The ending was overwhelmingly good. It was pretty good. Um, is it on par with the other ones? Not quite. It's really not on par with the second or third one. Maybe the first. I have not played the first. The first kind of reminds me of... Or a drama that reminds me of the first one, the way, the way I saw how that played out. It reminded me of the first one. So, you know, and then to hear that there ain't going to be a Mass Effect for a while, leads me to believe either A, they're working on it secretly, you know, because when they came out, a new Mass Effect was, was coming out. There was so much shit then. There was so much shit, and then there was so many people going, oh. Oh, it's coming out. Look, look. We got to have it now. Got to have it now. Come on. Get, give us give us now. We want now. And I think that's the problem with with those people, our players, is that there's so much shitty games out there. Okay? There's so much... Um, I mean, the ending games are phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. I like the indie games. But there is a bunch of garbage indie games that's just like, really, you know, are you kidding me? That's garbage. Why would you even create that? What what makes it fun, you know? And, and there are good indie games. I mean, the bad indie games, they just keep making, 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 making a series or whatever. Or just, like, making a bunch of shitty games. And then, like, the good ones, they make one, and then, boom, it's over. Like, there's no more, or it takes a while. Um, I.E. 
Five Nights at Freddy's or any of the like the Outlast games are pretty good. Um, but games like that, you know, are rarity. Uh, or like Subnautica, you know. But to, to tell you the truth, um, you know, when people get like this good game, you know, that, that gets shoved in their face like this, this is what we're working on, it's coming soon. We fucking just jump up and say we want it fucking now. And then we hurry the developers because people are getting angry and stuff like that. I remember when uh, Kojima was working on The Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes. And I was like, cool, you know, uh, we waited for a long time, but people were just angry. They were like, um, they were like, we want this now. They're not giving us a release date, which is bullshit. And then they released Ground Zeroes. And then after that, it was like, oh, that's bullshit. That's, that's short. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And then when he, when Kojima expressed that, the reason why he released it, which it's a, it was his intentional plan anyway. I mean, it he, they may sell you this bullshit of oh we it was too big of a game, so we just kind of cut it up, and we're giving you the first part, and then we're still working on the second part. So, and then we're gonna give you the first part anyway because it's so much so big game and. Uh, other rumor is, you know, well, we they need money, which is bullshit. Um, and and that it teaches you how to play, which it, really, that's fine, okay. But release a demo. This wasn't a demo. This was something. This was a game. Um. Kind of reminds you of the reverse. Like, you've got Metal Gear Solid and then Metal Gear Solid VR Missions. They're two separate discs, two separate games. Um, so it was kind of like a reverse, <laughs> you know. It was like, let's put ground, let's put the VR in front and then let's release um, Metal Gear Solid. So, you know, and then people still bitched. I remember when uh, the PS3 was getting ready to to be released and they showed Metal Gear Solid 4 and they're like this is going to be at launch or whatever so I was like uh, I think they said it was going to be at launch I, I can't remember I was like man I gotta get a PS3 uh, PS3 has been out for a long time and I have not got me a copy Metal Gear Solid 4 hasn't even come out yet you know so when I finally get a PS3 I barely had any I think I had like a couple games and I was like I gotta have that game. So I waited forever. And then when they came out with the release date, I marked it on the calendar. You know, it, it felt forever before that came out. And it was like, oh my God. Like, I, I knew there was internet, but I didn't really research it. You know, when news popped up of Metal Gear Solid 4, it was either on the TV, the G4 um, TV that no longer exists, which sucks. But uh, e either information would come up on that or or something would just come up on the internet. I'll just catch my eye. So it really did it really did suck. But you know I was kind of like, okay, I can wait. I'm not gonna sit there and be all pissy and shit. When it finally came out, it was like, it was like thank God. <laughs> you know I felt old. Um. But the thing is, people do that constantly. They, you know, when Kojima, for the longest time, did not even give a release date. He would show something new, or show a new trailer, or show something, and or give out info, or gameplay. People were just pissed off. And people were slamming their fists down, Screaming at Kojima going, we want this now. We want this now. And then regardless if, you know, if the game seems unfinished or not, it's it's funny how when you get a game that's complete garbage because people are coming up rushing the game 
you know, are screaming at the developer's face going, we want this now. Why haven't, it's only been, uh, you know, a year. You guys should have had it done. We want this now, which is totally impossible, by the way. Um, I mean, that's why they developed the, the Fox engine was so they can, you know, make stuff move along faster, you know, when things didn't move along as quickly as they liked, you know, I mean, that could be the possible, I'm not ruling out this at all. I'm, I'm looking at the ruse and how the game is left and going, the game is perfect the way it is. It's finished. We haven't got over the nuclear disarmament, so we haven't got to the the real ending. But it's finished, regardless. So nothing's gonna get added to it. Um, there's possibly gonna be another game. Now the funny thing is, people bitch if, if it's if it's entirely unfinished and they left a lot of shit out. It's not due to Kojima. It's not due to Konami. We are the ones to blame because we have been slamming our fist down, writing shit, getting pissy because he didn't give us a release date. And there's a reason why there was no release dates because he didn't want to be rushed. Well, totally understandable. You put a release date out there, people expect that release date. And then when shit's not finished, you know, and say that it's like a month and shit's not finished, you need more time, kind of fucks you over. You have to release a unfinished product. And then, of course, people get pissy. It's like, well, no shit. Well, what do you want? You can't have both. You can't have dessert and food at the same fucking time. You get your food and then you get your dessert. That's, that's simple. You can't just like... Oh, I want to have my cake, and then I want to, I want to have my food at the same time. No, it's not how that works. I mean, a lot of, I mean, there's probably people out there that do it, but um, it's probably a bad analogy. But you, you can't like drive. You can't drive and play video games at the same time. You can't do that. You know, you have to stop and do one or the other. Um. So. I mean, that's that's probably the reason why Mass Effect is, is either prolonged. It's either they're underground working on another Mass Effect sequel or DLCs or something like that of that nature without people bugging them. They probably bugged them about Andromeda, you know, which I can understand that. You know, it's like, fuck you, you know, and all. But th it was a sad thing to hear that uh, they were kind of splitting up the people, and they're just only going to use that facility as uh, testing and bugging and support. Sucks, but, you know, that's the way the world works. We're getting too antsy for this shit. We're getting too, you know, we want shit now, so fuck you all. You know what I mean? Um, I, for one, yeah, it... Like you get the itches, you're like, oh my god, I want, I want, I want the game. You get that way, you know. But you have to realize, wait, they have to work on the game. They have to make sure it's good. You know, you have to fucking wait. There's other games out there you can play. Um, it's like me. I kind of, I'm kind of glad I've got the YouTube channel going. And yeah, it's not a lot of script, but I love doing it. It keeps me occupied and focused, and it makes me a better person, especially um, the way I'm going to be doing voice acting and stuff like that. It does make me better at that. It gets me challenging because then I have to concentrate on the game, but also give out good commentary. Sometimes I'm quiet because I want people to listen to uh, the game and understand the game. And then when I'm goofing off, I'm sitting there, I'll do something and and shit like that. But other than that, yeah. But anyway, um, I did I did work on some of the cosplay that I'll be doing for Depth Stranding slash Metal Gear. So 
and I, I am working on the bus sword. It's getting along pretty well. I need to do an update video on that. So, yeah. It's it's not like 100% or even halfway. It's I've got the materia, and now it's like the complete blade, you know. So I gotta complete the blade. Um, I did see... What was it? There was something that I saw that it, it was just like, you know, there was something I'm going to talk about, but I totally forgot. But anyway, um, I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Super lately, and I did, I don't know, it feels weird watching it because it's like, I don't know, I, it makes me feel like Goku's turning evil-ish, or a sane heritage, you know, the way they are, people change, or whatnot, so, yeah, um, anyway, there's gonna be a lot of E3 going on, and I cannot wait, I'm kinda hoping that I can come down here and uh, record a little bit, you know, like my my uh, live reactions or something like that. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of of trial and error next week of doing that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to record my live actions for for this stuff and to see see if I can get all this. And I put it out there. But I cannot wait. I did order my new hat. That I do want to show you guys. So I cannot wait to get that. Um, yeah. Things are looking up. So guys. This is a very short. Uh, very short. Little brief intermission. I'm, I'm not even going to cut anywhere. But. Um. The Preacher 6, if you guys want to check out Preacher 6, uh, go to Kyle Hester's Twitter page and uh, Preacher 6 Twitter and go in there, uh, go to their, I'm not, uh, for some reason I got Patreon in my head, but go to their GoFundMe page to fund them. Preacher 6 is pretty much like uh, Quentin Tarantino film mixed with Devil May Cry which Devil May Cry is a Tarantino film in itself so if you guys want to see that come to life uh, go check out if you guys don't remember Kyle Hester was on here to talk a little bit about his video and about you know his life and everything and that he will be coming back on uh, when stuff gets rolling on the movie um, hopefully when it gets fully funded I'm going to have him back on here and then uh, before he starts because he's going to be very busy. After that, when the movie is completed, I do want to um, bring bring him in uh, after the movie is done uh, and to give thanks and everything. So, yeah. So, after that... Um, the Diamond Dogs project is on its way. The script is being worked on uh, as far as the story. The story is, I think the story is pretty much done. Now it's the script. Uh, the story has been worked on and they're writing the script as, as we speak. I cannot wait for our snake to give us signs because dude, it's fucking fabulous. The trailer is out, so go to the YouTube or the website or the Twitter Diamond Dogs Project and check them out. Follow uh, follow me or them for uh, more updates as we go along. So stay on the track of that. I do have a special trailer that I am making myself. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy. It gives kind of a lot of hints. And hopefully you guys will pick that up. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if it's going to be on my channel or their channel. Uh, just, yeah, I'm just working on it as we speak. So, yeah. 
Now, for all of you guys out there that want apparel, if you think my mascot or my name is pretty badass, go to the Void uh, Studios. Or the Reaper Studios. Reap, uh, the Reaper's Void. Go to the Reaper's Void on Spreadshirt. Order some merchandise. It would help me out tremendously. And by the way, I will be starting a Patreon page to support me further. So stay tuned uh, for that. Guy, uh, yeah, that was a short intermission there. But I wanted to give out a little intermission. I haven't done that in a while. But, yeah. As far as a lot of stuff going on in the world, um, Miley Cyrus apparently has given up her crazy, her wacky lifestyle as it is. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, Miley. You are coming through now. You are seeing the light, apparently. I mean, it had... The reason why, you know, I don't know, dude. She said, like, oh, I wanted to come out and do stuff. I wanted to do stuff. I wanted to find myself. And then it's like, you could tell probably nobody wanted her for anything. Everybody's like, Miley, you go over and do your crazy stuff in the corner. We'll be over here doing our big boy stuff. So go go do that. Go, go be crazy. And I think she saw that nobody wanted her. Uh, for anything, and nobody, and a lot of people were making fun of her, and then a lot of people were, you know, not buying her shit, probably, and they're probably, you know, she has not I think, uh, the U, part, was it Party in the USA? I think that was, like, number one, but then, a uh, Wrecking Ball, I know that was, that was mainly talked about, but other, all the other songs, she was just kind of like, not hitting the top that good. Um, I think they just saw her as crazy Miley, and they're like, we should get somebody to do something. It's like, well, how about Miley? Nah, man, she's too crazy. <laughs> She'll have a fucking giant penis on stage and shit. Uh, let's, not, let's not do that. <laughs> so, I mean, like, that's probably why. Um, she probably saw that and probably saw where people were laughing at her and making fun of her and not taking her seriously. So she's probably looking at, you know, like, fuck, back then when I did Party in the USA, they took me seriously. Now people are laughing at me, making fun of me, and not taking me seriously, so maybe I need to cut the shit out. You know, hopefully that's what happened. Hopefully she wised up. Um, I do feel sorry for Billy Ray Cyrus. Because I know, like, a lot of times he's like, oh my god, <laughs> you know. Dad, would you come to the music awards? Shh. Do I have to sit next to you, honey? Uh, yeah. Uh, f- oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he probably had to sit there and be like, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, help me. <laughs> you, I mean, you you just got to know. I mean, when when your daughter goes out on stage humping uh, a big giant penis and a sledgehammer. Don't you think you would get kind of, uh, yeah, <laughs> embarrassed? I would. I know I would. I'd be like, mother. But anyway, enough of the Miley shit. Um, Kingdom Hearts. Apparently, supposedly, there's a rumor going around in Kingdom Hearts 3, the long anticipated sequel. Uh,. Or console sequel, I should say, is coming out. Uh, 2018. That's the rumor. Or sooner. So I don't know if that's even true. Maybe, hopefully, hopefully at E3 we'll get a coming in 2018. But what's weird is Kojima said there's gonna be a release date for Death Stranding. You know, speaking of release dates. But he hasn't put a release date on at all. They're just like little teasers. There's no coming soon. There's no releasing on 2018. Or in development. It's just Death Stranding. Weird, huh? But anyway, um, I'm kind of hoping it's true. You know, because... You know, I feel like maybe he's... 
Tetsumura, Tetsuya, uh, Papa Mira. I'll just call him Papa Mira. Everybody else does. I feel like they, he kind of said that probably to, you know, I don't know. I feel like he, he probably said that to get people to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for a word and I cannot remember, but I mean, it's like, it's hard to say, to be honest. But I do feel like he said that kind of like, you know, let's get people thinking and shit like that. And yeah, I'm just kind of like thinking, Woo, it's kind of hard doing this by yourself, but yeah. But guys, I'm kind of hoping, like, it's it's all like, you know. They're just saying that shit. And I'm kind of hoping they're like, fuck, we're, we're like, you know, 90% done. Or they're like, you know, maybe like 60 or something like that. And they're, they're probably behind here going, fuck, we're almost done. And we just told them we're not really close to being done. They're going to get a fast one when it comes out in 2018. Oh, they're going to get it, you know. So, kind of hoping, you know, because, like, I miss... Like, I know they released a lot of Kingdom Hearts stuff, but I do miss playing, like, I don't know. Like, now that I've played it over and over and over, uh, all the other ones, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm ready for, especially when 2.8 came out with Birth by Sleep point two. Oh my god, dude. So beautiful. It's like, oh my god, I want it. Just think about it, man. It's just so, it just makes me want to go giggity. <laughs> go giggity. I like to back it up, you know. Um, but I just cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, Darksiders. I think I mentioned it last, last week. I didn't really talk about it a whole lot. But Darksiders 3 released a trailer. Oh my god. Dude, it looks so beautiful, and I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they kept the uh, voice acting as well, like the war. I was like, oh, I hope they don't replace people, because it's a different company. Uh, it's still THQ, but it's THQ Nordic. And I think somebody bought THQ and stuff like that. And I'm kind of glad they kept the voice and they kept shit, you know. Like, I had the first two on the PS3. Uh, I know they, they're released, re-released on the PS4, which I thought about buying, just buying the first one. Um, because Darksiders is pretty badass. I, I like it. Um, speaking of, re what do you guys think about re-releases? You know what I mean? Um, you know... It's it's something that it's good, but bad. I mean, it's also a good for, uh, like, it's a good workaround for non-backwards capability for a console, you know. Because um, eventually, if you keep putting backwards capability in consoles, they'll just keep big, getting bigger and bigger, and then pretty soon it'll be a big as a fucking... 42 inch TV that you don't know where the fucking stick you know what's that oh that's my my PlayStation um, 20 it's full backwards capability <laughs> you know holy shit that's huge yeah you have to fit all the console parts in there to make it backwards capability duh you know um <clears throat> Or hopefully they'll come out with a, a software that could just, like, run it. I think they tried that with the PS2 where it was just software. You know, instead of, like, the hardware, that was software. And I don't think it worked too good. I don't know. I tried downloading it and working on it, but... 
yeah, it didn't work. I was so pissed. I was like, no, you know. So, I mean, that's why I kept my PS2 for a while. Uh, but now that I've seen uh, a lot of stuff coming out, I kind of, like, put my PS2 in retirement. And I've noticed, like, I, I used to play games. Uh, I put in Big Red 1. It was so deteriorated that I felt I fell through the floor. I don't know if that was, like, a one-time deal, but... Like, I fell through, and it was glitching out so bad. Um, so, yeah. Speaking of Call of Duty, oh, my God. The trailer for the new Call of Duty. Oh, oh my God. The Big Red 1. We're back in the fucking Big Red 1. The graphics. Dear God, if that's the actual graphics of the game. Holy shit. I mean, I've said it before that when I see graphics, um, like when they showed the first trailers, it's like, oh, that's so badass. And then, like, I'm over here going, yeah, that's not going to be in the final product. And it usually doesn't. It's usually either dumbed down or whatever. It says in game play. You know, it's running on an actual uh, game system. <clears throat> Somehow, I kind of highly doubt it. I don't know. I have high expectations for this shit, you know. Or I'm a realist. I see shit, and I'm like, no, that's not going to be in the final game because that looks too good to be true. It looks fucking beautiful, and that's probably not going to be in the game. I don't know. I hope it is, though. I hope it is. Um, but dear God, dude, Call of Duty. I'm kind of glad they're going back to the roots. I'm kind of getting sick of the modern shit. Um, like the modern, like modern warfare was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, because it's realism. Then when it does the advanced war shit, it's like, God, really? I know you guys are trying to be like Halo. But if you haven't noticed, Halo's dying. Dying pretty fast. <laughs> Especially with Guardians or whatever. And then there was like a rumor, I guess, that... Halo 6 is not going to be a E3. I never knew they were working on Halo 6. So. Which I guess is good. That they're showing up there. But. Yeah. It's. I don't know. Like. I want to get 5. Like I haven't even played 3. I played. I beat 1. 2. I think I'd be three. I don't know. But I haven't played ODST and four. And like I wanna get five. So I could just like fucking play all of them at once. But I didn't even know they were working on six. That's just I don't know. Yeah. I kinda hope they pull their head out of the rasses and actually make a good Halo. <laughs> But without Bungie, I don't think it would be any good. Bungie was good at doing Halo games. That's why everybody loved them. But now they're on the Destiny shit, which... Uh, I, it was okay, okay? It was alright. But to be able to play it online only, it sucks. Dude, I don't like games like that. I mean, they should call it online game. But, you know, whatever. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to, I don't know. I'm going to have to say that for Call of Duty, I hope it is as good as it looks. It's fucking beautiful and fantastic. And I hope, really hope, it's that way. Um, so, yeah. So, guys... Thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, stay tuned for all the other Reaper podcasts. Check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and all the good guys. Twitch, my merchandise. And I will see you guys next time. Right